can stop suffering. You can be happy in your love life. You can have a happy family. You can have a successful career. You can have blessed children. Somebody told you you cannot succeed. Perhaps your own mother. She said you'll never be happy in life. And those words really cursed you. I want you to prepare a glass of water. Like mine, we are going to bless this water so that when you drink of it, you may drink God's power. You are going to drink the spiritual energy. Also, if you are in this situation, you find yourself lost, you are going to email me, bbf at universal.org. This is my email address, and you can anytime contact me. I have with me this, this day, Miss Wandra. How are you? I'm in faith, Bishop. Good. Yeah. When you say you are in faith, you are positive. I am um, really positive. I didn't know what it meant to be in faith until I came through these doors. And right now, I'm just elated on the inside because I know that my God is with me. Before, you said when you came through this door, and how was it before? I see here that you had a, a financial blockage, debts, problems with your children. Yes. How? Well, the reason why I came through the doors, because I, my son facing seven years in jail. Um, I had a lot of credit card debt. I worked three jobs. I was fighting all the time in my house with my son. Um, my sons, I found out they were addicted to marijuana. Um, they were drinking. Um, it was a mess. How many children do you have? I have two sons. Two sons. Two. Mm -hmm. And you said one of them were in jail? Facing seven years in jail. I didn't even know everything. Like, you know how you look at a story on TV and they said, oh, the, the, the cops swapped in and they picked up your kids? Well, I was at work and when I came home, my neighbor said, the cops came to your house and they took your son away. And no one called me, no one informed me of anything. I didn't know anything. You know, sometimes a person's watching TV and they see all the tragedies, bad stories, and they think it could never happen to them until they find themselves like in that break news. That was your situation. That was my situation. I, my, when I look at my, ch my children, I was like, oh, okay, they're on the positive road. I thought I was doing everything right as a single parent. You know, my son graduated from college and he was looking for a job. He was working on apps. He was, he was like, I thought everything was normal, mm -hmm. but it wasn't normal. It wasn't normal for him. It, he was out there doing like a credit card scam. And now I was told that he was faced with seven years in jail. Like, I didn't know what to do. Besides of your own financial situation, yes. your own financial battles, problems, so now you had this nightmare. Yes, and that's what it was. It was like living in a nightmare. L looking at him and looking at the potential that he had, that now the potential was gone, that he, the shame that he brought to the family. So the dream was destroyed. Yeah, it was destroyed. Yes. The dream was destroyed. Yes. We call it the destroyer of dreams. The destroyer of dreams. She said that he had a, a good career potential. He yes. was in college. Yes. Everything was okay. Then came this yes. nightmare. And, and that's what it was. It was like living in a nightmare. So faced with my son with the seven years for jail, going every time to the jail, to the court, and them saying that we're going to take your son. We're going to lock him up. We're taking him into custody. But thank God for your campaign of Israel, because I came at a time when it was explained to me about the campaign. Campaign of Israel is when we take people's request to the Holy Land. Twice a year, we have this campaign. So when you came, that was the campaign. It was the campaign. How did you find this church? Believe it or not, I was at one of the jobs, the three jobs that I worked at, one of the co-workers there, she was saying that she was having problems and she saw a prayer booth on the corner of Notion or Fulton. And, and she was explaining to me what it was. I said, oh, oh, I, I, I passed there when I go to my mom's house because my mom lived in the area. 
So I didn't make too much of it. I know I was going through my problems. But that next morning, I was channel surfing, and on Channel 9, there was the bishop. He was talking. And I said, my last name is Thomas, and I've learned about doubting Thomas. <laughs> so I said, oh, I'm just going to call, and it's just going to be a pre-recording, just like all the other stations that they do. But when I doubt, a real person picked up, and I was so stunned. My, my mouth fell open because I didn't think that a real person would answer. I thought it would just go pre-recording. But it wasn't. And I got a nice person who talked to me, who put my son's name in the anointing oil and, and invited me down to a Friday service. By coming to this church, receiving the prayers and the, the words, the spiritual advice, yes. uh, how long have you been with us? Two years, I'm proud to say. Two years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why are you proud to say which change you have seen? Well, for me, I'm not, no longer afraid to go home because I used to fight with my son all the time, my younger son. So I, I'm no longer afraid to go home. I have peace in my home, something that I, I didn't know truly about, and that changed my life. Um, I received the Holy Spirit, um, and I'm helping those just like the, the people here helped me. To, what about your children? Oh, I have peace with them. My oldest son, he didn't go to jail for the seven years. We were, like for a year and a half after the campaign, we went back and forth. And every time we went, the, the judge said we was gonna take your son. The lawyer said, this is a lost cause. But I knew what I did on the altar. And my son, he didn't do the seven years. They put him in a, a program for 18 months, and once he complete the program, his case would be sealed, it would disappear, and he will have a new beginning. Amen. Yes. <laughs> we are going to pray right now. I think you have now your glass of water. I want you to take it. I will pray together here yes. with Miss Wandra, and I want you to get yours. This is now the time of a prayer. Regardless of your religion, your belief, or who you are, we shall pray right now. Close your eyes, please. In Jesus Christ's name, O oh my Lord, my Father, I know this person can stop suffering. I know the voices are many. She just said it to us, the judge, the lawyers, told it's a lost case. He's going to serve seven years. But because she prayed to you, she used her faith on the altar, and she called upon your name. Because you are a father, you did not say no to her. And here she is, no longer crying, but happy, and her son is free. Oh, my God. There are many mothers on the other side crying because the son had a career and now he is in jail. He's serving for life. Others were sentenced for seven years, ten years. Oh, Lord. But I pray to you, my father. Help this mother. Help her children. Help this person that is looking for a job without finding none. Perhaps in another country, state, in a foreign land, without a visa, without work permit, illegal, this person is so devastated, crying, depressed. But I pray to you, O oh Lord, my God, my Father, for a change, for a transformation, my God, in this person's life. Lord, you do not improve anybody's life, but you change. So change this person's life once and for all. I bless and consecrate this water in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This water is just a simple water you are holding. But if you drink with all your faith, you are going to drink God's energy. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. 
This is not in vain that you are watching us. Maybe on the internet, on YouTube, on the TV. This is not in vain. You are watching us for a reason. And the reason is God wants to transform your life. No matter what you are facing, He is God. If you are broken, He is God. If you are sick, He is God. If your family is broken, is falling apart, He is God. He is God to mend back the pieces, to take your broken life and restore it and give it to you its brand new. Coming to see us, you have nothing to lose. You have lost already everything. This is my email address, bbf at universal.org. Tomorrow again, we are going to be back here with another show. You can stop suffering. Join us next time. Meanwhile, you can follow us on social media and stay connected to our powerful and inspiring true life stories and messages. Follow us on Twitter or friend us on Facebook. And you can always find new and motivational pictures on Instagram. Stay connected and see how you can.